Here we have a MIDI clip, but I want to add some other notes to it. So if I just record here, I think I want to add some high C to this here. So if we just start recording, and we'll have a little count off. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Well, we're erasing all of our notes. Uh, we've added in that, that C note up top there, which you can see right there. We've added that in, but we've erased everything else. Not what we want. Control Z out of that. Here in Pro Tools, if you want to add notes to an existing MIDI clip, make sure you turn on MIDI Merge. You can find it here. You can find it here. Just click it. Or you can use the number nine on your numpad. So now we'll turn on MIDI Merge and we'll try this recording again. Okay, so it wasn't perfect. I'd probably come in here, actually adjust some of these notes, but now you can see that we have merged this new stuff that we played into that existing clip. And that's just by having MIDI merge on, okay? This also works very well for, of course, not just strings, but of course it works for piano. It works well for building arpeggios. It also works well for building up a drum performance, for example. So let's do this here. Let's make a two bar selection in this case. Go ahead and make sure this is monitoring. Yep, there we go. So we have a boom in this case. And we have that two bar selection. Make sure we have our loop playback on. Just right click and choose loop. Or you can use the number four on your numpad. And let me uh, mute this track first. Now we'll go ahead and record and watch what happens here. Okay, so there we go. You can see how we can actually build up a track with this MIDI merge on and this uh, loop playback in uh, in this fashion, which is pretty cool and pretty helpful. Again, it's really useful for arpeggios, for pianos, putting together complex things because you can build them up with one note or two notes or three notes or a little section at a time. Just make sure you have MIDI merge turned on and you can use Pro Tools 